Hey everybody, my name is Cole Jones and I'm a member of the class of 2015 from MBA and I'm also a member of the first class of artist at Indata. Um, I was in eighth grade at that time and a lot has changed and a lot has stayed the same since then. What I'm going to do just briefly is to give you all a little update on where things are and how Indata has affected me since then. Uh, but I'm also going to give you all a bit of a challenge if you want to stick around. Um, and see, let's see if it's something that you could pick up um, during quarantine. So in eighth grade, I was wearing those green plaid shorts that I made the choice to wear for some reason. I was selling my photography that had been a hobby of mine for about two years in seventh and eighth grade. And Ms. Hollyfield encouraged me to try to sell photography at Indata. I was scared and I was nervous, but y'all know how Ms. Hollyfield is. She insisted and um, she was right, and I was very thankful for it. For one, because I made more money than I had ever at a lemonade stand, so that was exciting. Uh, but in a bigger way, I received two gifts that day. First of all, I received um, the gift of enjoying to share, the enjoyment of sharing art with other people, and the enjoyment of creating it myself. Um, that only grew through the years. I also received an early um, a, a gift that in those early years of Indata, it was a painting from a, a local artist named Miles Maley. And it was a watercolor painting. He gave it to me and it was a print at that time, just a small print. But the next year I got it blown up and I put it up in my room in Nashville. I kept it with me through college uh, at the University of Alabama and now in Charlottesville as I work for a campus ministry at the University of Virginia, um, I still have it on my wall uh, right here behind me. Uh, it's, it's by Miles Maley and, and Dada has stuck with me from day one um, and, until, until now and I, I get inspired by it every time. The colors, the, the, the creativity of it all, um, I love it. And that's from a, an early Dada artist to another. Um, through those years, I continue to do art. I, I uh, loved doing watercolors. This was my college house. It was a gift to my roommates. And um, I also wrote poetry. Um, that was also, it was a joint gift to my roommates. And I think art is more relevant at this moment than it almost has ever been in our lives, certainly. Um, because what we're facing is the, the difficult reality that we can't be together. We're facing our limitations. Um, in Dada, it's just, it's great, but it, it's not what we want it to be, to, to, to have it online. It's a sad thing to face, um, but we're facing the limitations of the human experience. And that is why we need art at this moment. We need the, the transcendent beauty of art. We need the creativity that it brings forth in us, the stories that we get from it the understanding of something deeper and more beautiful um, when facing such a difficult time. And if nothing else, just the words that put, um, that put truth to the lament that we're facing right now. If y'all remember Robin Williams in Dead Poets Society, he was that inspiring teacher at MBA um, that was portrayed in the movie. He said, we don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race. And the human race is filled with passion and medicine, law, business, and engineering. These are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain human life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are the things that we stay alive for. I think that's a reminder right now that we have indispensable members of society keeping our bodies alive and protecting our bodies through government and the hospitals. But we also have a necessity to produce art and give it into the world. And we need that from you. So my challenge to y'all is to find a place in your house during this time and think with, with creativity like you've never thought of before, what, what am I experiencing right now and how can I put it into art? And then offer it at the very least to yourself but hopefully to your family, to your friends, and the world around you, because we need it right now, and you're the one that can contribute it. So thanks so much for letting me check back in. Uh, all my love from Charlottesville, and um, happy Indata. Bye.